When I started barking Jack, I didn't know, I had an idea, but I didn't know how to execute that idea. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just got on with it. And I kind of got that mindset from previous jobs leading up to starting Bark and Jack. I used to work directly with CEOs or for CEOs, and that was from multiple different companies, different sizes of companies. And they all had uh, a, a similar mindset, a similar kind of character, a similar trait. And that was that they too didn't know what they were doing. But what they did have is that they did have ideas and they had the confidence to execute those ideas and also the confidence to not worry if those ideas didn't work. And so I guess the idea is just to take action. And that's literally what I did with Bark and Jack. And I still use this mindset now. The idea of if you have an idea, take action. If it works, carry on. If it doesn't, stop it or change it. Now there is a downside to this idea and uh, th that was the name Bark and Jack. Uh, I needed a name and that was supposed to just be a placeholder name. Three years later, I kind of feel like it's, it's a bit late now to, to change the name. And also I just got bored of trying to think of something better. So just moved on to a different project. Once I thought of a name, the next task was to create a logo. Now I don't know graphic design. I know there's a lady down here all the way at the end. I don't know if you can see her. Um, and she's picking up little bits of historic things like pipes and old cutlery, stuff that's kind of been washed up from the Thames. I'm in London, if you didn't know. Uh, that's the Thames. And just looking down, there's old nails. Like, these are probably hundreds of years old. That's a brand new screw, so that one isn't. But, like, there's old bottles and things. I didn't know this shit was here. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, the, the next task after kind of cracking on with the name was to create a logo. I don't do graphic design. I'm not a graphic designer. I know what I like and I know what I dislike. Um, I don't know Illustrator and I didn't know Photoshop. And so I opened up Apple Keynote. I had an idea in my head of what I wanted the logo to be. Uh, and so I just worked at trying to create that using a tool that I knew how to use and not worry too much about the fine detail. I kind of just got on with the bits that I knew how to get on with and just ignored the bits that I didn't know how to get on with. Now onto the topic of ignoring the details and just getting on with the main task and getting something to get moving. I'm now at a point where I want to take Bark and Jack to the next level. And that means thinking about the details. And that means not having a logo that reminds me of creating it in PowerPoint. I don't want to have a PowerPoint company. I want to have a proper company. Um, I don't believe in, um, I don't know, spiritual fate and things like that. But it is funny how sometimes I'm going to use the phrase stars align because uh, that kind of makes sense, but I don't believe in that, that stuff. Uh, but basically, a, a chap called Vern, he emailed me, I think at the end of last year when I was really trying to push forward with this idea. And he happens to be not only a watch geek and a great photographer, but you can follow him on Instagram at watch studies. But he's also a creative director. He focuses on branding and graphic design. And he said, is there anything that I can help with? We had loads of chats on Zoom, geeking out about watches, but also just having big brain dumps. Me just essentially opening up my mind and just sharing my vision with him. And that was a lot more challenging than what I thought because it's really hard to verbalize what you see in your head because it just makes sense in your head straight away because you can see it, but it's, it was hard for me to kind of get that out and actually put it into words for another human to understand. I thought this process was just gonna be a matter of someone would open up Photoshop, uh, cycle through a whole list of fonts and then find something that kind of matches uh, what I had in my head or what I described. And uh, the process was nothing like that. We ended up having big Zoom chats, creating mood boards, uh, dissecting designs, uh, colors, shapes, and trying to figure out what it is of something that I like and dislike. That on its own was quite interesting, quite fascinating, especially for someone who doesn't have a graphic design background. Me thinking that we're just gonna sift through fonts and choose one that looked cool uh, couldn't have been further from the truth. It got to the point of <laughs> we were creating a Bark and Jack font. We were zooming into single edges of single characters and adjusting the angle and thickness of that one edge. 
which it, it was one of those situations and I'm sure actually we've all had this we're, we're all watch geeks and we've all had this 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 time of realizing that we're fascinated by something that is highly geeky but it was really interesting seeing how different edges kind of communicate with other edges and how things need to flow and how things do flow it was it was really interesting kind of seeing that side of graphic design this is the new logo and it it kind of allows for it to be used in lots of different formats and applied in lots of different ways and that's kind of something that that i wanted something that had different elements that could be pulled and pushed it's going to be a while before this is rolled out onto all products the first product that it is going to be rolled out onto is the coffee that's going to be launched in may the coffee's probably been the longest project that i've worked on it's pretty much been in the work since bark and jack started uh, it's just quite a complicated one to do and we're launching with quite an epic coffee you, you'll see that there'll be details coming out on that uh, fairly soon i'm still a big believer and a big practitioner of just take action just get on with something and worry about the details later worry about the details when the details matter and now it does matter about the details around the logo because i'm wanting to take bark and jack to the next level and that's when the details matter but also the details mattered less before because i didn't know about the details i didn't know how to do the details i still don't know about the details but i found someone who does and that person is, is Vern. and a big thanks to him for getting in contact for sharing his massive wealth of experience on branding on creative direction on graphic design he's also a kick-ass photographer and has a cool watch collection he's also launching his own shop which is watch studies if you like his style of photography then you can check out his presets that you can download but also just give him a follow on instagram at watch studies and i'll see you guys next time take care